Good morning, everybody. This is Deacon Kyle Teets. Today in the Gospel, Jesus gives us somewhat of a, a dire message about the resistance and opposition that Christians might face in the world. He says, Behold, I am sending you like sheep in the midst of wolves. He also says, Beware of men, for they will hand you over to courts and scourge you in their synagogues. He also talks about brother will hand over brother to death and the father his child. Wow, a lot of opposition out there. And how does Jesus encourage us or ask us to uh, engage with such a world? He gives us this very interesting piece here. He says, So be shrewd as serpents and simple as doves. It's a very interesting juxtaposition there. When we think of serpent, we kind of go back to Genesis and think about the serpent that deceived Adam and Eve. And when we think of dove, we think of the Holy Spirit descending as a dove. So what's Jesus getting at here? Shrewd as serpents and simple as doves. Well, I think when we engage with other people about the faith, uh, it's important that we do it with a, with a proper spirit, a proper attitude and disposition. Otherwise, we're just going to dissolve into fighting or speaking over each other. I think the shrewdness, or maybe the, the prudence, that a serpent can offer is to know when, when to engage and when to maybe pull away. So I'm thinking of, you know, maybe someone posts something kind of inflammatory on Facebook about the faith or whatever, and it's like, well, I should reply or something, say something to that. But maybe prudence would dictate, maybe that's not the best way to engage at this moment. Maybe sending a private message or talking to a person one-on-one -on -one later on would be better, to know when to engage. It can be easy for a discussion to kind of de devolve into fighting or to arguing or yelling. But being simple as doves, what does that mean? I think Jesus gives us the answer a little later on in the gospel. He says, Do not worry about how you are to speak or what you are to say. You will be given at that moment what you are to say, for it will not be you who speak, but the Spirit of your Father speaking through you. I think that means that if we live a life filled in the Spirit, attuned to the Holy Spirit, then in those moments where we're engaging with someone about the faith or truth or having a tough conversation, and the Holy Spirit will provide us with what we need to say. I think back to one summer where I had some roommates, uh, some new roommates, and the one night just happened that we got, my one roommate and I got into like a three hour discussion about the faith, just totally unexpected. And I remember kind of as it was going on, it's like, well, I'm not sure what I'm supposed to say to like convince him here. But I think it was a true Holy Spirit moment, uh, being able to just kind of listen and engage in a peaceful, in a simple way, like a dove. So I think Jesus invites us today to attune ourselves uh, to the Holy Spirit, to be aware, have that shrewdness and that prudence of knowing when to engage. And when it comes time to discuss the faith, to defend the faith, perhaps to engage with family members who maybe have fallen away, that we can do so in a spirit, in the Holy Spirit, and not in a way that will lead to um, fighting or division or further harm. So let's pray today that the Holy Spirit might fill our hearts, that we might be willing to speak the words of the Holy Spirit and trust that he will speak for us. God bless everybody.